The community and the administration are preparing for mass vaccination in the department. Those were clarified by Governor this morning. Silva Mitchell with more news. Hello, Lisa. Good afternoon. Well, as you say, the governor, ever Hawkins Chagrin, in exclusive for today's last news, gave declaration about the journey, the massive vaccination journey that going to be tomorrow, 7 o'clock in the morning, right here where we are at the Centro de Convenciones from the Isleño Hotel. Everett Hacking Chagrin manifested that from the Minister of Health, from the Ministry of Health, they designed 60,000 doses for the archipelago of the Sinovac vaccine. What this one is say, say, instead of one vaccination uh, journey, then we got two vaccination journey. I want to invite all the uh, community, the rural community, to uh, assist tomorrow to the point of vaccination in the Cameroon um, Isleño in town. Uh, it's very important for us to the community know it's important to, va to vaccine, uh, to va vaccinate, to get the vaccine. The vaccine right now, uh, we was talking about yesterday during the, 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 um, the interviews that I was given uh, yesterday and that I was trying to explain the, um, the recommendation from the Ministry of Health. Uh, is was we going to we was going to use the Janssen va vaccine, but right now uh, the change that uh, they made yesterday by the Ministry of Health then assigned the vaccine that Niem Sinovac. The governor also clarifies that they going got three fields. This going this the whole the logistic of the vaccination process going to be. One of the the line going to be for person with disabilities. The next line going to be for person that been collected to enterprise here in the department, and the next one for the community in general. I understand all might be the commentaries that they can have against the vaccine, but nowhere or no part of the world uh, have no more alternative than to use them. In this case, well, in Lardo Beta, we right now are going to use Sinovac, um, and the most important is going to use it in two doses. One, uh, we want to start from tomorrow, Thursday till Monday. And the second one, 28 days after. Okay, and finally, the governor wants to invite the whole, the entire community to please be part of this vaccination process and take the vaccine because San Andres is one of the first departments to make a mass vaccination process to, so everybody can be safe from the coronavirus, a virus that they kill plenty of people, not only in Colombia, but also in the whole world. So, Lisa, this is all information, but in our central broadcast, we make a complete development of this news. This is Sylvette Mitchell Archibald. Good evening. Thank you, Silvette, and it's a text arrived in San Andreas to provide a service fear for the entire community. The Bolivariano Educational Institution located in the sector of Slave Hill will be the focal point for activities aimed at providing answers to interested parties during the three days. Good evening, Liz and all the TV viewers. I say hello from here. From the Bolivariano School, we come from early hours in the morning. The ISETEC is here making a fear about information of service so they can access to all the information to the young people them who are here in the department who want to know about the service with the ISETEC they offer. This is what they told us when we come to this fear. This fair is a fair for information and services where beneficiaries and citizens in general can find all the information of the portfolios and services, aid plan, scholarship, funds, and internationalization programs where we have at the ISETEX and any other producers that the entity is introducing at this time. This fair will take place on the 16, 17, and 18 of this month, in addition to Thursday, which will be in the municipality of Old Providence. For ISETEX, for ISETEX it is very important to be in the territory and to be able to offer the entire portfolio of services that we provide at the regional and territorial level. The idea is to understand each region and understand each need that it has and offer the solution that it requires. It is important to mention that more than 1,000 young people of our department is having any service with the ICTEC that is important of the MIA fair where we make them get closer to all the information where they need to know to get to better them studying in the superior area. This is all the information I report from here from the Bolivariano School Continue Lisa in studio with more information. Thank you, Alice. And in other news, the 48th showcase of the ANATO has begun and San Andreas and Providence showed out. The Secretary of Tourism spoke satisfaction about the department's participation. 
the Anato Showcase starts today in Bogota. The Secretary of Tourism, Jonathan Taylor, spoke for the last news about how the department was prepared and what the expectations are. In this, opportunity, gracias a... this time, thanks to the support of our Governor, Dr. Everett Hawkins, we have achieved 16 exhibitors who will present the best of our idiosyncrasy and will show the tourism tourist potential that we have in this showcase. We are awaiting to show commercial ties which will help us to draw and attract more tourists to our department. So be pending because it will be from June 16th to the 18th. We will be at the fair participating, so do not miss the important news that we have for the department. It should be noted that this Anata showcase has already been postponed twice. At first, it was going to be carried out at the beginning of the year, but due to the declaration of a health emergency, it was postponed to April 28, 29 and 30. In the month of April, it was postponed again, and finally, it will be carried out today. And the community of the sectors of Ciudad Paraíso, Los Laureles, Locks Bay, and surrounding areas of the parallel road to the airport protested, saying that they cannot move freely, which has caused discord amongst the passers-by. Due to the poor condition of the road parallel to the airport, which has recently been affected by the breakage of a pipe, the community of the surrounding sectors denounced the facts. Ayer esto era un Yesterday, it was a mud pit where people couldn't get through. They tried going around it, and they made a mess of my terrace. I know. We suffer a lot because the transportation that regularly brings us here, they say no due to the damage to the street. That hole has been there for a long time, for a very long time, and they don't do anything to fix it. I was coming with my truck, and there was a hole that I could not see, and the car slipped, and the front part broke. In this regard, the manager of Ibeolia gave her precision on the community complaints. This pipe has been showing some kind of recurrent breaks, a situation that affects the provision of service. While the government solves the problem, we will replace this section, which has had delays, since we did not have the pipe on the island and it was necessary to send and manufacture the same kind. In the next few days, we will have the pipe to be able to proceed with the replacement of the aforementioned section. Tele Islas News will be attentive to what happens with this sector. And today is a very special day for the Audiovisual Clip Fest contest. In this note, we will give you more details about it. This audiovisual contest that includes different categories such as musical and documentary is progressing at good pace. So far, the 26 finalists had the opportunity to present their audiovisual projects in order to move on the next round and be part of the finalists. Only until this 16th of June, until the 16th of June, the 26 participants of this contest will get time to deliver the final product. And we're really excited about it and we want to see where we're going on and where we will not come up with in this version. In this version of the contest, there are 10 participants in the music category and 16 in the documentary category. And now let's get to know other facts that are making news in our brief news sections of today. During the weekend, the Corporation for the Sustainable Development of the Archipelago Coralina carried out night operations to control and monitor environmental noise in a joint work with the Environmental Police in order to comply with the activities of the 0048 Popular Action Ruling and Order of the Court. With the support of Social Development Secretariat, the event that included the formation of the Municipal Committee of Leading Mother on the Island was carried out in order to know the social problems that affect families and identify the contributions that the holders and beneficiaries can do to find a solution in order to convert these leading mothers in bridge between the families that participate in the program and the administration. This program will facilitate that the families comply with the co-responsibility of health and education. The Environmental Protection Group of the National Police leads the campaign to promote responsible pet ownership in order to comply with the law 1774 of 2016. And now we continue with the weather forecast. The weather forecast for today, June 16, in the coastal area of Archipelago, the sky is cloudy. Temperature is 29 degrees Celsius, winds from the northeast direction with intensities of 14 km per hour. Humidity forecast is 77% and probability of precipitation is of 12%.